Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini XR Football. 15 box pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think we only have, um, if you look on the site, four and five, I think, are the final cases right there. So get into it while supplies last. For pick your team three, big thanks to all of these lovely people right here. Thanks for getting into it. Paul Hutchins, Last Spot Mojo, Denver Broncos. There's everyone else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Watching a little Thursday Night Football right now. The legend of Gardner Minshew is, is increasing. Two early touchdowns in the first quarter for the Jaguars. They're up 14-0 with about 10 minutes left in the first half. I'm on the Jaguars plus one and a half. There's ten, five right here. There's 10 right here. And here's 15 right over here. There you go. All right. Good luck, everybody. We got two autographs and a memorabilia card per box on average. Right there. Eric Newton in the house saying good luck, everyone. Shout out from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids, Michigan. And go blue, he says. Go, Chad's inquiring. Go blue? Eric says, yes, go blue. Eric Newton, my dad, lived in Michigan for a minute or two. In the 70s. Kalamazoo, Michigan. I don't know where that's in relation to, to the Rapids, but the Grand Rapids. Before I was born, though. do this. Man, I used a blank card here. I think I'll... Oh, you live in the K-Zoo right now. Nice. The zoo. I'm assuming they just call it the zoo. All right. There's Marquise Brown. There's DJ Moore. We'll sleeve and top load those later. Just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze through these luminous endorsements. Alexander Mattison, 99 out of 99 for the Vikings. Don Rab on the board. I think we've got a lot of, we got a big Michigan crew that's here at Jaspies. We got 39 out of 149. Riley Ridley, Bears. That's for Mike Koontz. Gary Jennings, Extreme Rookies. And there's Brian Burns to 199, Mike Evans. And we've got uh, Andy Isabella, triple relic and autograph, 14 out of 49. I think, I think the Cardinals are going to beat the Panthers at home in Arizona. What does everyone else think? Wow, what a run by Derrick Henry. Looks like he was stuffed, then he turned it, turned it into a first down, but there's a flag on the play. Chad B. agrees. Oh, I don't think Cam's even playing Chad. The line actually moved where Arizona's actually favored by a little bit, by a point and a half maybe, minus one and a half. But yeah, I think they ruled him out for this week. I'm pretty sure. Can someone confirm that for me? Cam Newton out 
for week three. Oh, nice Josh Allen. One out of ten. Quarterback Josh Allen going to Aaron Pettit and the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! Again, we'll sleeve and top load those before they go out. 36 out of 99. That is Mike Williams. I think I also like the Texans as road dogs in L.A. Their defense kind of banged up a little bit. The team itself is a little, little banged up. All right. Randy Moss. And Caleb Wilson and Marlon Mack. And Jersey and Autograph, Riley Ridley, 137 out of 199. Someone was in the chat earlier today. I forgot who it was. Sorry, that person. But they were nervous about the Bears in D.C. I think the Bears are going to be just fine. I think they're minus four going into Washington. I think the Lions could beat Philadelphia this week as well. Philadelphia is banged up too. So, yeah, Jason Jaspi, big Phillies, uh, big Eagles fan, Philadelphia Eagles fan, a little nervous about that game. Yeah. Get Nelson Aguilar on your fantasy teams, everybody. He's going to get all the targets. Vanilla Gorilla saying the Lions can't split up their team and beat them, so it's horrible. One playoff win in 53 years. It doesn't matter. Right now, we're just talking about week three. The undefeated Lions, right. 1-0-1. One, oh, one. Put some respect on that Lions name, Mike Bobby. Come on now. Put some respect on their names. There's Alshon Jeffrey. So, yeah, so they're banged up a little bit. Lions could pull this off. Triple Relic and Autograph, Debo Samuel, 36 out of 49. That's for the Niners. Chad B with the Niners. Chad, Niners minus six and a half. Hosting the uh, Big Ben-less Steelers. It's Miles Sanders and Carrion Johnson. I actually picked up Debo on my fantasy team. Luminous endorsements, Easton Stick. Nice one for the Chargers, Sean Corbett, 37 out of 49. Yeah, I'm not sure about that San Francisco game either. 37 out of 49, Kenyon Drake. That's for the Dolphins, that's gonna head out to Aaron Pettit with the fish. Got a redemption on the bottom of that pack. Saquon Barkley to 199. And behind Miles Boykin is. Damian Harris, 39 out of 49 for the Patriots. That's going to go out to Brian Plant. Got Josh Doxson, 93 out of 99. Bailey Hall with the Redskins. 
Got Damien Harris, Extreme Rookies. Dexter Lawrence and Kirk Cousins. And the redemption is going to be Rookie XL Swatch Autographs Blue Card 9. I don't think we've seen Card 9 yet. Who's not signing their cards? It's Patrick? No. Paris? Oh, it's Paris Campbell, of course. I never signs his cards. He's that guy this year. He's like Evan Ingram from a couple years ago. Who was it last year? Who was like notorious non-signers last year? Derek Bratton with the Colts. Oh, right. Rashad Penny was a notorious non-signer, at least until the end of the season. Then he started signing towards the end of the season. But early, like, first three quarters of the products, yeah. I think I barely signed. Always a redemption. Oh, I thought you meant Penny, comma, Rashad. <laughs> TJ Hawkinson and Christian McCaffrey. We got Tara McLaurin, nice. Jersey and autograph, 52 out of 1 at 99 for Bailey Hall. Nice start to his career. And then we got another Terry McLaurin to 149. There you go. Yeah, Terry McLaurin. That's a lot better. Out of 149 Extreme Rookies, Miles Boykin. Where is, where is that game? Vanilla Grillers. Devo to 10. Ezekiel Elliott to 249. And we've got Damian Harris. Jersey and Auto. 32 out of 70. He's got to work on that autograph. Damien Harris probably needs to go to Jaspi's autograph camp. Vi uh, Vikings, Patriots, Brian Plant. Pat Riots. It's in Oakland. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Oakland there. Maybe I'll go to that game. I can't imagine tickets will be very... I don't think they're going to be very expensive for Lions Raiders. There's Dwayne Haskins, Nick Chubb, although it is a lit Raiders last season up there. So we got Chris Long to 25, acclaimed autograph. That's for the Eagles. Trey Bush. There's Drew Locke, triple relic, 33 out of 99. Last spot mojo, Paul Hutchins. I mean, that could, vanilla, I think that might be cheaper than paying like the $300 for nosebleeds for a Chargers game down here, Chargers Raiders games down here. And a one of one, carry on Johnson. Carry on my wayward son. Just a base one of one, but hey, that's a train whistle for Darren Porter. 
Darren, where's my where's my bell here? There it is, Darren. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. And we've got nice a Nick Bosa, twenty out of twenty. Two color patch and autograph. That's nice. Chad B. Yeah, may, may have to rent out the Tesla for a month to, 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 get that, uh, to get that Raiders Chargers money. I think this is the last year the Chargers play in that stadium. I don't think I'm ever going to see a football game, an NFL game, in that small of a stadium. Actually, true story, ladies and gentlemen, I've never been to an NFL game. Never. LA has been without football for so long, so just so there's there's that. Just haven't had opportunity, very many opportunities to go to an NFL game. And when I went to uh, when I went to college in San Diego, when the Chargers were still there, I mean I'm a poor college kid. I don't, I don't have NFL game money. So yeah, I've never been to a professional football game. I've been to like. I've been to like a college football game, but I've never seen a professional football game at a stadium. Professional basketball? Yeah. Seen a few basketball games, seen a few hockey games, tons of baseball games. I watch baseball a lot. Rodney Anderson, Matt Ryan. Yeah, well, when they're in Vegas, I definitely am going to try to go to a game, a season, I guess. Another Terry McLaurin. Nice. Five out of 99 for Bailey. And out of 49, that's David Montgomery for the Bears. That is for Michael Koontz. Rookie triple swatch autographs. Paris Campbell? No. Oh, oh, Dave, David Montgomery. I thought it was going to be Deontay Johnson for a second. No, David Montgomery for the Bears. That is another one for Michael Kuntz. I tried to look into season tickets for the Las Vegas Raiders. They're really expensive. I guess the per seat cost isn't horrible, but the, the, the seat license, that's where they get you. You have to pay for the right to buy seats and still pay for the seats. Right, yes, and also Gruden's getting paid a lot of money. Oh, they, uh, they named the, the new stadium down here, ladies and gentlemen. The naming rights for the Rams Chargers Stadium, which opens next season. Well, it's opening earlier than that, but it'll be hosting them next season. Yeah. SoFi Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. SoFi can afford it. A personal finance company that provides student loan refinancing, mortgages, and personal loans. They're based in San Francisco, California. There you go. They have a 2017 revenue of $547 million, and a chunk of that is going to name the stadium. SoFi Stadium. The first... 20 years, right? Or something like that? They should just have it be like 30, 40 years. Yeah. Otherwise, it changes every... Like, how many times has Dignity Health Park, oh, I know that was, yeah. StubHub, and Home Depot Center? Like, you can't do that. That's just crazy. Because I remember hearing about like Staples Center. I would hate it when they finally can't afford it anymore. No I know, and then I it's going to. They can't afford it a couple years back, and, but Staples, like the owners, just took a cut because it's iconic. You know, you can't just use right. Staples Center. Right. Right. Yeah. There's Miles Boykin, Miles Gaskin. Sorry, out of forty-nine. 
That will be for the Dolphins. That's going to go to Aaron Pettit. That's why they should just like name a stadium something. Yeah, right. Just it. Yeah, yeah or just call it like. Chris like <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. That's what. Yeah, something like that. It should be like that. It should be like Dr. Jerry Bus Arena. Yeah. Or like the State Farm Dr. Jerry Bus Arena. Like that. Something like that. Or like yeah. Jack Murphy Stadium or Field at Qualcomm or something yeah, like that. Qualcomm like, like, right. Yeah. So. Because now it's just, now the naming thing. I don't mind the naming thing. Fine, make your money. But if it changes, that's when I, it's so like four different that. names. I hate it when they're like, yeah, it's not called that anymore. Like, I'm yeah, like, and it's just like, it's called the what, what about the Giant Stadium up north? It's like AT&T yeah, AT &T to part, yeah. something else and something. There's like three different names up there too. I still call Anaheim the Pond. Up there. Right, yeah, I'm just going to call it the Pond. Not like, what is it, Honda Center now? Yeah, okay. AJ Brown, 85 out of 99. <laughs> that goes to the Titans, Don Rabb. But yeah, SoFi Stadium is a new LA stadium. There's Miles Sanders. And uh, the first event that'll be there, Taylor Swift will be there. Too. So it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a huge entertainment venue. The NFL Network offices and studios are moving down to some building next to the new stadium. There's my boy Hunter Renfro, Jersey and Auto, to 199. So it's gonna be a pretty amazing complex. It's not too far from Jaspies, ladies and gentlemen. So next year, when you start planning your Jaspies trips to our new shop, Let's see how far away it is. Mew Ram Stadium. I'm on Google Maps right now. No, I don't want to walk. I want to drive. It'll take you two and a half hours to walk, and uh, it'll be, it's about 30 minutes away. About 10 miles away. And where we are, and we're about five miles away from the airport. So, ladies and gentlemen, if your favorite team is playing either the Chargers or the Rams here in LA, that sounds like a nice little weekend trip, doesn't it? You fly out, you know, maybe the day before, hang out with Jaspies, check out the shop. You know, stay in the hotel, go to the game the next day. San Diego is still Petco Park, right? That hasn't changed? Yeah, that hasn't changed yet. But. And then you fly right in, get a hotel around here, go watch the game, fly right back out. That sounds like a nice little, that sounds like a good weekend trip, right? New stadium, like when people, because we have NFC and AFC, yeah. so most of your teams at some point are going to play in L.A. That's why I'm so happy. It's a quick weekend trip. Well, like the Eagles. Right, the Eagles, happy. right. They're going to cycle around yeah, to that playing in L.A. Traffic is just going to be the killer part, but... Yeah, traffic will be the killer part. What is it, maybe less than 10 miles? It's Uber, guys. It's about, it's exactly 10 yeah, miles, 9.6. It's really not that far. Like, it's yeah. Really the Eagles are going to get cleaned up really nice, too. They're going to get a lot of nice... Oh, yeah. Really so then, if you make a nice little weekend trip around it, folks. Oh, Vanilla Grill, you want to stay with me? Sure, I guess so. We can get we can get the air mattress. We can drag the air mattress out. 18 out of 20, DK Metcalf, triple relic and autograph. Eric Wyant with that one. He's been playing some good football, DK. And we got Stanley Morgan Jr. autograph. That's a nice shot. Good picture of him right there. Out of 199, Bengals on the board, Adam. And there's Riley Ridley, Triple Relic, to 99. It's one for the Bears. And this game, this game, this Thursday night game started off fast, and now it's just been dragging. Fourteen nothing. One minute left in the second quarter, in the first half. I think the, maybe the rain still raining, maybe slowing things down. 
A lot, 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 lot of running the ball. Redemption right there. There's Mariota who's running. Just ran for, there's a flag now. Oh, holding offense. That's the worst penalty ever. There's nothing more deflating than a, uh, than a holding penalty. You see a good play happen, a good run. And there's Caleb Wilson, two out of five, Mr. Irrelevant for Chris Hansen and the Cardinals. And out of fives and under, as everybody knows, that's another train whistle. There you go, Chris, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. We got a triple relic right here. Buffalo! 95 out of 99. Team Trio. Zay Jones, Josh Allen, LaShawn McCoy. All right, we got rookie swatch autographs. Card 23, Michael Jordan. The player is D. A, David Montgomery. Sign your cards, David Montgomery. That's another one for the Bears, Michael Kuntz. All right, we're down to our the final third of the case, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Coming up after this, Flawless Collegiate 5. I think we're on, still on schedule right there. And then whatever else has filled up by then. I think someone was mentioning that something else had filled up. Looks like Chrome 6 skipped 5. Chrome 6 is going to happen after the Collegiate. And then after that, I don't know what we're going to do after that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Oh, they're showing some great mustaches. Famous quarterback mustache. That Joe Montana mustache. I don't think I've ever seen him with that. All right, what's Minshew going to do in 45 seconds? Nothing? Just, just keep running it? No. They're going to throw it. Drew Locke to 199, and then Phillip Rivers to 199. Triple Relic and Autograph, Hakeem Butler. Rex wants to skip the rest of this and go into Flawless. Chris Hansen with that one. Well, that's not fair, Rex. It's not fair to all these guys here. It's all, all always about Rex. And a 75, Darius Slayton. What if I just go even slower, Rex? Keep that up. I'll just go even slower. Aaron Pettit with the New York Football Giants. 67 out of 75. Nice rookie triple threats. <laughs> One color triple relic. Alexander Madsen. We got Darius Slayton and Khalil Mack. 
And this looks like a one of one. It is one of one triple relic Dwayne Haskins with a new era logo right there in the middle. Woo! Yeah, Ricky Huddleston. Here's some big booms. Asking ye shall receive Bailey Hall with the Washington Redskins. That's nice. That's damn nice. Yes, hat. <laughs> On a really thick cardstock as well. There you go. Bailey Hall. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. There it is. There's NFL Skunky right there. Oh, my God, he says. You can't believe it. Bailey can't believe it. Folks, we only have a couple more cases of the XR left. And I, I want to say those one of one RPAs are guaranteed. There's like one per case. So I take advantage of that before they are gone before we move on to the next football release. Todd Gurley to 149. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for getting in. Two color patch auto, Darius Slayton. Nine out of 25. New York football giants, Aaron Pettit. Montez Sweat to 199, Joe Mixon to 249. And we got Michael Harmon Jr., Luminous Endorsements autograph, 14 out of 25. And the Speedster for Jacqueline and the Chiefs. And Kyler Murray, Triple Relic to 99. He's been playing well. Chris Hansen with the Cardinals. Thought that was going to be an autograph. Right. Next box. Gilded, uh, Gilded Greats, Marcus Allen, 25. And Travis Fulham to 249. And Calvin Ridley to 199. And we got Gary Jennings Jr., Triple Relic and Autograph, 53 out of 75. That's for the Seahawks, Eric Wyant. David Montgomery, Mitch Trubisky, and Tariq Cohen. Bears, Bears, Bears. Four out of five. Another train whistle. Don't sleep on this XR, folks. We can do another one tonight. We've got time for it. Tariq Cohen, Bears. Michael Koontz. There you go, Mike. All aboard the Big Head Express. Woo woo! It's been a minute or two since we've pulled a train whistle for you, Mike Koontz. Nice. And back here, more Seahawks. Nice patch out of 10. So nice finish to this break. Two boxes to go. All right, halftime now.
Quadri Allison, Clay Matthews. This is the autograph. It is Easton Stick. 28 out of 49 for the Chargers. Sean Corbett with the Bolts. And we've got J.J. Arcega Whiteside, 25. There you go. <laughs> Jeff Dorlak, like, happy about his Yankees. Gilded Experts, Walter Jones. Gilded Greats, that is. Riley Ridley, Gino Atkins. I know. That, that, good for the hobby. Hashtag good for the hobby. Seriously, Miles Boykin. Jersey and autograph, 35 out of 75. They'll just be like, Nick Foles, I mean, you probably need an extra week with that clavicle. Broken bone, man, chill. <laughs> yeah, relax, man. So we want you to be 100%, you know? <laughs> get, just get ready. No need to rush it back. Miles Boykin for the Ravens. Rick Conza with the Purple Birds. And the last box, ladies and gentlemen. Bailey is saying, something told, told me to pull the trigger on the Redskins. They're your favorite team. Yeah, they, they are a little expensive because of that guy, Dwayne Askins. <laughs> That's one of the reasons. why. And now, Terry McLaurin. So now there's even more value for that price. But yeah, go with the gut. Every once in a while, folks, you just got to pull the trigger. Go with your gut. Everyone, not all the, you can't do it all the time. But every once in a while, there's if there's like a team that's a little bit out of your price range, and you're, but you feel good about it, it's not going to happen like this every time. But you got to try, though, because you'll be sick to your stomach if your gut feeling was right. That one of one could have popped for somebody else. And then you'll be the guy in the chat being like, oh, it was in my cart, or I was totally going to get the Redskins. And everyone's like, sure you were, man. No, no one's going to believe you, you know? They're like, okay, whatever. And be like, I'm serious. I totally was. No, just pull the trigger. And be like NFL skunky and just be like, yeah, I had a feeling. I pulled the trigger, got the one of one triple relic Dwayne Haskins. Done. Go, I'm going, now I'm going home. We'll randomize these points to one person in the break. There's AJ Brown, Josh Rosen. Josh Rosen getting the start this week. Not sure if that's going to make a difference, but. And we've got Daniel Jones. He's making a start this week. To 149. I kind of like Daniel Jones and the Giants, like plus six and a half in Tampa Bay. Knock on wood if you're with me. All right. Last pack. Clayton Thorson, Tremaine Edmonds. The autograph is going to be for the Titans. That's Alex Barnes, 147 out of 199. <laughs> Traded on the Redskins last night. And then there's the other side of going with your guy. Uh, the Alex Barnes will go to Don Rab and the Titans. What else do we have here at the end? Oh, just the base cards at the end. So there you go. Extreme Rookies, Justice Hill. There's that. And got to randomize the points right here. Thanks, everybody. That was Pick Your Team 3. Very nice break. Coming up after this will be the Flawless Collegiate Football. All right, so everyone gets a chance at the point, so let's go back to this screen right here. Chad down to Bailey has a chance at the little consolation prize. Oh, wait, let me roll the dice first. That's one. So one and a six, six more times, seven times total. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, then final time. After seven times, it's for Daniel Rainwater. A little consolation prize for you, Daniel. 250 points coming your way. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.